Hey, hey, hey. Number 20. Is that what it is? Tw- really? 20. Is it 20? Yes, 20. Dos cero? Oh, my goodness. 20. Can you believe it? No, I can't. I cannot. I can't believe we've been doing it. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. It's we, we do it for you guys. Going like this all the time. Bam, yeah. bam, bam. We do it all for you, fans. Yeah, that's right. Well, I don't know. I think we kind of do it for ourselves because we, 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 we like to hear ourselves go blah, blah, blah and laugh. And that's <laughs> right. Well, we like, and, and we like to share our friends. We do. Speaking of which, our friend that we're sharing today, she eat up with it. Shh. Yeah. Lovely and talented Miss Megan Mullins. Megan Mullins on the couch. How did mm. this happen? I know. Pretty excited That's about it. That's very cool. Yeah. 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 She's, this, this is going to be some good stuff. She's so gifted. So gifted. Yeah. It'll be fun. We'll get her to sing a song and all that good stuff. Oh, yeah. But let's oh, go to the credits, Money. Sucker for Jack it. failed. Jack failed. He's fired. He can never hey, do it again. Hey, hey. <laughs> He's like, I can't do it. What is that? <laughs> I can't do anyway. it. So, Montrose. What do we got? Montrose, I've been running back and forth. Back and yeah, forth. Yeah, old forth Cornelius has got you. Old Cornhold out oh, there. Oh, Yukon Cornelius, man. <laughs> R.T. Johnson, the king of North Car- Eastern North Carolina. That's it, man. Yeah. So, we, we got Western North Carolina sewed up with Medford. And then we got Eastern sewn up with old Yukon, yep. Cornelius. <laughs> Having a good time, though. Anybody who's, I'll tell you. who knows Rudolph, we're showing our age here, but Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Yukon, Cornelius, come on. It's R.T. Yeah. Johnson all the way. It the big red is. beard. And I've also, You might even have a picture they can yes. correlate this Oh, thing. oh no. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. In fact, right now, I'll go ahead and put it side by side. Check this out. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> it is. Gold! Gold! So he, he started seeing that, too, this weekend. It was so funny. Oh, man. Oh. Good stuff. Good old RT. Oh. And, and also, I'm going to put a shout out to Senior Roy Johnson. Art, Art, RT's dad. He he watches our show all the time. Hello, Roy. <laughs> Good to yep. see you, buddy. And I'll tell you what. And, and his lovely wife, Laverne. They have shown me the best hospitality. Oh my gosh! I mean, yeah. I've. Yeah. It's it's so good. I mean, they're just good good people, and I'm, my life is better knowing them. Well, I yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. And she feeds you good. Huh? Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah. It ain't no accident how you know. R, R, RT's a big boy. I tell you what, that, that 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 cooking out there, and it is so dang good. I mean, we we ro- roll in from the gig about you know two two thirty a.m. or so, sit there on the stove. Oh just, gosh, that's just a dream. Whatever it is, that's a dream. And I get the next morning, and there it's on. <sighs> breakfast is already there, all covered up. Miss Laverne, she knows how to treat a man. Wow. I think her, her and Roy have been married for 140 years now. I'm not oh. sure, but I don't, well, I don't blame them. <laughs> it's good stuff. Good living. Good folks. Glad to be doing it. It's a good time. Hard drive. Hard, Hard drive. drive. Yeah, that's Hard a tough drive. Run. I might look up but. some flights here pretty soon. <laughs> Fly to Raleigh. Something. Yeah. I've done it yeah. a couple times now, and it's, it's, it's it, you know, I'm not as young as I used to be. It's hard, it's hard on you, man, especially to keep doing it consecutively. Yeah. It's, yeah. And trying to do podcasts in between and mm-hmm. everything else yeah. that goes along with life. And, yeah, yeah. It'll be yeah. busy. We'll be busy through the end of the year. Yeah, that's good. Thanks, RT, for giving him a job. Thank you, RT. <laughs> Get him out of my hair. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's the only one not scared. He, he'll hire an old man. <laughs> Pick his ass off. That's <laughs> Oh man, um, I've also got uh, I got some squat stuff, but I think we might save that. Let's hold on to it. Yeah, yeah we got a lot to get to. to. We got a lot to get to this week. <laughs> Megan Mullins is yeah, it coming into the house here. This is let's go. Let's do it. You're my one temptation, the one I can't refuse. I want.
Megan Molly! Yeah, man, we are so happy you're here, girl. I am so happy to be here. Thank you for Gosh, having me. Gosh, man, another real life star, Bonnie. Oh, oh man, a yeah. real one. Have y'all been drinking today? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it, is, it is. It is like twelve or five, right? We yes. yeah. we knew yeah. you were coming, you know, so we get all scared. <laughs> get but we're like, oh my gosh, we have a little star. That's right. Lord. <laughs> That's right. So. Man, I see. I'm I'm so for I don't have my notes or anything. I'll just oh, have to go from from off of my my brain here. Uh-oh. For, uh oh. For most of our fans, they they know who Megan is. Yeah. And oh oh and, and by the way, if you want to talk to the people, like you have something real emphatic to say, that's your camera right there. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> which which is my good side? You don't have. They're all good, girl. <laughs> They're all good. They have been drinking. That's right. Your good side is coming. Your good side is going. It's all good. <laughs> I'm loud. <laughs> no. But uh, Megan, uh, she played with Alabama. Mm-hmm. And that's probably where most of our fans know you from because we've taken a lot of their fans, you know. Yes. Especially since they've been taking a hiatus. They got nothing to do. So, they, you know, they follow those old men. They say, hey, we'll go follow these old guys over here for a while. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> no. you could share them instead of take them. That's oh, you know? sh- that, that, that's you right. You're just sharing. Yeah. Speaking that's of which, we're, we're, we're going to be doing a show for old Randy here pretty soon. Yes, yeah. I'm very excited about that. I'm looking that. forward to it. I love fun. playing with you, man. You're just, uh, unfortunately, I'll be playing bass. Oh, man. Again. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great. I know. <laughs> He's the bass yes. player. Right. Oh, okay. So, Megan, for this first segment here. How did you get to Nashville? Why did you come to Nashville? How did it all happen? Well, uh, starting from, I guess, the beginning. The beginning as I have ever known it. That's right. (laughs) Uh, My dad, uh, I'm originally from northern Indiana. And my dad worked in a factory at Dana Corporation. He worked 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. And then every weekend he played music at this place called three kings it was like a uh, it was like a family restaurant slash bar like they had the bar entrance and we played he played on the fam like the family restaurant Mm -hmm. side and they had Mm -hmm. a dance floor and they'd move all the tables back and my dad played there every weekend for 14 years wow yeah so it was really a great place and then um my mom didn't believe in babysitters so when my older brother was born she would just like Which your mom by the way is awesome she is fantastic i love your mom i was really blessed with really great parents <laughs> yeah. yeah i kind of won the yeah. lottery there mm-hmm. so she would take my older brother along because it was a family restaurant and everything right, so right, she right. would take him along and um he when he was i think three wanted to play guitar like my dad because mm-hmm. my dad had a one-man band he had Still does actually. Uh, he has bass pedals and he plays electric guitar and sings and then people dance. And so he would, he was. We all we grew up listening to all this, you know, great country music like sure. George Jones, Conway Twitty, sure. Merle, Waylon, Willie, all that. Wow. So um, my brother wanted to play guitar like my dad, and somebody told my mom that uh, if you start a kid when they're three on guitar that it messes with their tendons because it's it's too much pressure to push down. I don't know if that's true or not. But that's what somebody told my mom. So she started um, my brother on Suzuki violin, Mm -hmm. which thinking like he can learn... That's what, the, that's what that's what the little stripes on the I mean when they put yeah, the yeah on, yeah they do right. and they kind of and it's first a, stop second stop third stop right? yeah. Yeah. yeah and they do <laughs> um, it's a ear training method so like Japan the Japanese language Dr Shinichi Suzuki formulated this method because he was looking at these Japanese children and he was kind of in awe that they could learn Japanese because it's a really hard language and there's inflections sure. you can say the same thing with different inflections. And it means completely different things. Right, so right, they listen yeah. to the tone of the voice and they learn how to speak. And he thought, well, it could be the same with music. So like you, as a, as a child, you learn, you hear it, you learn it, and then you can reproduce it when you know what you're supposed to. So it's like an ear training method. Sure. So my brother started with that. And then uh, again, my mom didn't believe in babysitters. So <laughs> she would bring me to his lessons with like a bag full of toys and books and whatever. And I would just sit watching. Yeah. yeah. 
So I eventually wanted to play uh, like my brother and my dad, and I was I guess I was 18 months old and picking up pencils around the house and practicing the Boeing. Like the, the Mississippi hot dog, you know, I stop and you stop, and I was practicing them. So they let me start, wow. and um, I had my first uh, violin recital. It was Suzuki Book One when I was I did it with my brother. I was two, he was four, and we did the whole Book One together. Wow! And a little poofy dress, and then. You we were started, two. yeah, <laughs> and then we started. So the Suzuki stuff. The first two songs I learned how to play were um, "Twinkle Twinkle Little Star," mm-hmm. as you do, and "Rocky well, Top," which is actually. But "Twinkle Twinkle" is three songs in one, so you it read is. four songs. That's true. I know. Yes, <laughs> yeah, depending on you know. <laughs> it could be A B C D. It could yeah. be Billy Goat, Billy Goat, whatever. Yeah. 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 Did you know that, Monty? A B C D E F G Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Mm-hmm. That's true. (laughs) Oh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. So I think think I'm funny, Megan. I I think you are. I'm really trying to impress you. And I like that. We we did try to warn you about this. (laughs) (laughs) We think we're funny things. Hey. Well, then uh, we started getting up with Dad at his shows and doing. we would do and like a couple the songs, shows, right? I mean, you, you get a little kid probably. Up there, over. Like, what do they say? Yeah. Kids and dogs kid, and kid, well, showbiz. Animals in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. <laughs> so we would go to sleep underneath the speaker stands and sleeping bags, which is I'm a great sleeper to this day. Thanks, yeah. mom and dad. Um, but then people, we like once a month we'd get up and like do some, you know, fiddle tunes, and then sure. people would start coming in saying, "Oh, I brought my sister from Pennsylvania. Where's the kids?" So then we started wow. doing it every weekend, and then people. Said, oh, we have this uh, corporate party, we have a fair, whatever, and we started doing. So, that, I guess from the time I was three on, uh, they called us the Little Fiddlers. It was the me little, and my brother and my dad, the Little Fiddlers. The little fiddlers. And uh, we did between 100 and 200 shows that first year and every year. Oh, and how, how old are you at, at this time? Uh, well, I was three. And I <laughs> three years old, hundred shows. Yeah. Well, I will tell you what, though, you know, if you folks haven't heard her play, she plays like she's been playing since she was three. It's unbelievable. That's awesome, girl. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> two she more does, shows man. than us at three years old. That's awesome. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So we, that's basically how we grew up, and it was a great way to grow up. We got right. to do and see and experience so much stuff. Right. And. All the while, you know, kind of cultivating this love for music. Mm-hmm. So when I was 15, um, I, I, sc- I started kindergarten when I was four because I read at a sixth grade level. And then I skipped seventh and eleventh grade. So I graduated high school when I was 15 and moved to Nashville because that's, yeah, that's what where you, you want to be for that's the country music. Yeah, yeah. You know, though, you... You, I know you try to, you know, you try to play to your audience around you, and you hang around musicians so much. That's why you don't show your intellect so much. I mean, I know. <laughs> she, you know, she has to communicate. You got to communicate with those people around you, right? Come way down the whole time. Well, she's going, this, this guy's an idiot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ow! Don't you worry about it. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah, graduate high school, you're 15. Yeah, I like. See, I've always known that was just that little that little twinkle in your eye there that little behind the gaze is like there's more going on here than she's letting on i knew it i knew it (laughs) i knew it so and then 15 years old here you are in nashville yeah mom's here too right yeah she came down my dad was still working so he can sure you know like if you've worked he was close to retirement and then in two weeks you had your record deal right Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So we, yeah, <laughs> it was pretty sick. yeah, we signed with um, Broken Bow. Actually, me and my brother both did as a duo, mm-hmm. and because uh, he, <laughs> he actually plays everything, also like he plays. I don't know. My brother is the guy that we were somewhere, and we would enter fiddle contests. We weren't like contest fiddlers, like we're like the, that's all we did. But if there was a contest nearby, we would enter it, whatever. Sure. And we were someplace, and I was in the fiddle contest. And we're like, oh, there's a dobro contest. Well, Marcus has never picked up a dobro in his life, but it was like I don't know. It seemed to him like a good idea. I'm going to enter the contest. So he went. Out, he entered. Went over. It, <laughs> borrowed a. He asked some guy if he could borrow his dobro. Here we go. Lay it on us. He goes, oh, I just don't have mine here. Do you mind if I just, like, borrow Can I just, like, 
borrow it just to get a, you know, feel for your, you know, setup and everything. And he went and he, he competed in the Dobro contest and ended up beating the guy whose Dobro he borrowed. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Awesome. First time, he, first day he ever picked yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's him. No, so. he's yeah, he's pretty sick. I mean, you guys, the die was cast early. You know what you're gonna do. Yeah, not pay for gonna, anything else. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's no reason. Talent like yours, there's no reason to do anything else. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be back with Megan Mullins. Woohoo! <laughs> The clap. Woo-hoo! Megan Mullins. Yeah. We had to oh. get out our coffee cups. Oh, red on the couch. Cheers. The best co- Carolina coffee Carolina ever. coffee, oh. man. Oh. Gosh. Mm. It's Monday. It is Monday. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Yeah. That is good. Yeah. <laughs> they have a good brew over there. I don't know if it's the beans that they use in their coffee or what. Yeah. But mm. It's the Mountain Grown. Is it? Is that what it is? The mountain? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Carolina Mountain School. Good beans. <laughs> Hint of apple. Hmm. <laughs> Confused. Get you. Yeah. All right. So we're in Nashville. The, yes. The, the, the Mullins kid, kids just got signed. Yes. Broken Bow Records. Mm-hmm. Boom. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, so my brother was going through kind of a phase... He's the, I'm the well-behaved one of the bunch. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We, we, yeah, we, we got to take that out. We got to go back and edit that. <laughs> we don't blatantly lie on this show. We, you know? <laughs> Ever. It's Ever. all about perspective. And that's, oh, okay, yeah. You could be better than most in, you know, certain company, maybe. You, yeah. You're a good girl, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm very well-behaved. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of the time. Some more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mom and dad, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so at the time, he was like, he was calling. You know, every week it was something. It was like, oh, guess guess what? I just bought a truck. I just mm. got a tattoo. I just got a whatever. <laughs> and then uh, I think I'm trying to think which one. Can, uh, yeah. Then he calls me. He's like, oh hey, I joined the Air Force. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's not really one of the top things to do that are conducive to the record deal you've already signed. Recently signed, signed. Yeah. deal. Yeah. yeah. So then he kind of, he went for a while for basic training, and then he got married, and then he started having kids. So yeah. so they re-signed me as a solo artist, and then I made, um, I made three records, one with Mark Bright, one with... Randy Scruggs and one with Buddy Cannon, uh, which all heavy hitters. Yeah. yeah, very. And you, but you can't, you can't get any of them anywhere because they never actually put the albums out. Yeah. So Gosh. they're there somewhere. The Nashville story. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Yeah. Gosh, that's right. Uh, yeah. See now, if you'd, been, if you'd have been signed to CCB Nashville, you know, my, you, you'd be the flagship artist. We you build know, it around. We would have music yeah. everywhere, and no one would listen. <laughs> I've been trying. I've been trying to record it's her for twenty years. Cheers. <laughs> 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 <It's yours. laughs> Ours too. <laughs> All right. No, that's not true. Man. Now, now though, but there were singles that came out, correct? Yeah, they put out. Um, they put out a couple singles. The first one was "Ain't What It Used to Be," and then the second one was "Long Past Gone." That's the one with you playing slide guitar and all that yeah. stuff. What the hell, man? Yeah. It's my territory. Get her back over the fiddle, girl. Sorry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no. I like that song. That's a good song, I thought. Thank you. I wrote that mm-hmm. one. You killed it, too. Thank you. See? I wrote it with Marla Cannon Goodman. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. 
Thank you. Were you long past gone? I was. Yeah. <laughs> it just took a few years for it to actually come out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. And so at that, so you were signed at seventeen. Now, now, where are we? Like when that song came Probably out? Probably like fifteen, because oh. we started doing, I think, recording stuff. That's I was right. actually there for eight years. At Broken Bow. At Broken Bow. Yeah. And uh, no, and never an album came out. No. Ugh. No. Yeah. I think the last record technically was um, they had they started that offshoot Stony Creek. Yes. So yeah. that was technically, but under the the broken umbrella. Right, right, and it was broken. Wasn't it? Sure. <laughs> that's how. That's the umbrella that Aldine built, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. Well, yeah. Well, that's that's a that's a travesty. Well, yeah. I just keep writing my songs no, and yeah, it's, it's playing my fiddle. Yeah. And yeah. So it now was, it, it was leading you to other things. That's that was, right. Is, well, I mean, you, the best music is yet to come. That's true. That's and true. actually, uh, the while I had these record deals, I was actually playing as a side person with other people. So let's let's attack this list because it's oh, man. freaking amazing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Okay. What was your first side gig? My first side gig was um, Cherie Austin. Oh, I love Cherie. Yeah. That was good stuff. She was so cute. Yeah. She was Australian, right? Yes. Yeah. Very And very yeah. talented. How long were you there? Well, she... I can't think exactly on the time date continuum of how it happened, but mm, sure. she was... We had the same manager, and she needed a fiddle player, so I went out and... Um, I went out... With her, and then she was, that was Al, on Broken Bow. Yes. Oh. And Stan Morass and oh, Mike okay. Martinovich. Okay. The, the, yeah. Con, cons, consortium. Consortium. Yeah. That's right. That's right. I yeah. Miss Al. I, I haven't seen him in ages. Al? Yeah. Al, you better be watching this, buddy. We miss you. <laughs> no, we do miss you. <laughs> so, uh, and then, okay. Sheree. And then after Sheree. Sheree, and then. Um, Jamie O'Neill, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Who doesn't love Jamie O'Neill? She, I played with her a couple months ago, and she still just. Yeah, we 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 just did a show with her a couple months ago. Couple months ago, yeah. She's, I mean, you might have been on it. Maybe. (laughs) (laughs) Do you remember me? Because I don't remember you. It was in Carolina, so we might. Oh well, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Well, there that explains it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, this the the list gets. Re- more ridiculous. Um, mm-hmm. I was also in the Nashville Star House Band mm-hmm. for uh, some years. Again, with the time and dates. I'm sure. really bad at stuff. Like, I don't know if it's three months ago or th- three years or ten or whatever. Right. Uh, Nashville Star, I know, was a long time ago. But um, so we did the house band and the tour uh, every year. That's where you met Randy, right? Yes. Yes. And then from that. Mm-hmm. Randy Owen. Randy Owen. Yeah. Alabama fans. You guys did a song together. Yeah, we did. Actually, I was playing in Randy's band when he wanted to do solo stuff, and uh, his manager came and said, hey, we're having like four or five girls sing this duet part, and you know, like you play with them, so it would be very convenient, but it was like a blind thing, and he picked my voice and didn't right. even know it was me, and they're like, well, this is... Handy, because she's already in your band. Yeah, but you know Randy's crazy like a fox. He is. He puts a um, a pressure in his own. (laughs) (laughs) He's a good kind of crazy, though. Right. You know? But but, but, I mean, he probably knew it was you the whole time. He recognized that timbre, your voice like that. Maybe. I never asked him. Yeah. Doesn't matter anyway. Yeah. You got the gig. Yeah. So, (laughs) we yeah, I sang a song with him, and it was a song that Dolly Parton wrote, which was super cool. Wow. Yeah. Nice work. Yeah, and then, um, let's see who else. So then, I think that was, uh, while I was playing with Randy with his solo stuff, I went out for a time with, I think it was about a year, with Shakira. Oh, wait, wait, who? Yeah, yeah, Sh- Shakira. Wait, Shakira. I'm playing fiddle for Randy Owen now what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, Shakira. Shakira. Sh- Shakira. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was. I played. Wow. I want to say fiddle, mandolin, and like the gan guitar thing, with her. For uh, it was when the 
She Wolf. Mm-hmm. That album. Sure. So sure. we did a lot of promo yeah. for that. Didn't she cut that in town too? Maybe I don't know. Because I remember her and Blake Shelton were kind. Of, they were going to sing on each other's record or something. They would happen to oh. be. Yeah. So. Well, she was doing the voice right at that time. Was that right? I don't know if she was doing the voice at that time, at, at that during that album. But no, yeah, I I, I think so. Maybe so. I I, I can't follow. I don't that know. Stuff. I can't. But yeah, so Shakira. And now is is that? Can I see the next one? Because is it those the 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 three good looking guys? That's not. Yeah. Jonas Brothers. Yes. She played with the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> I love that story you told when you guys were in Brazil or whatever in the middle of the night you hear this awful ruckus you open your window it's like Jonas Jonas yeah <laughs> they would they have their fans were so such fans <laughs> so they would sad. they would stand in groups outside the hotel rooms the whole hotel and they would all sing their songs all night and then wow. go to the concert and just you know wow That's it was they were they're the most uh Devoted fans, yeah. I think, I've ever witnessed. Yeah, f- fervent and devotion. And those guys are great. They really yeah, are. Yeah, they're I great you saying humans. That. Well, wildly that. talented. That's good to hear. Love to hear That's that. always good to hear. Yeah. yeah. We well, got. We got to talk a little more about that. Yeah, absolutely. After when this. we come back with the lovely and talented Miss Megan Moan, sponsored by Carolina Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Megan's here. Time to pop one open. Pop a top. <laughs> <laughs> pop a top again. I'm trying to quit drinking this stuff because it's got that aspartame in it, and it makes you forget stuff. And I keep forgetting that I'm trying to quit, <laughs> so I keep drinking it. Stick to the coffee. Better I think for I you. do. My my coffee's empty too. It's better for you. Yeah, I should have got another one. It happens when you drink it. I know. <laughs> I don't even remember drinking it. That's what. That's why. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Purposely left him out of the party. <laughs> All right. Somebody's got to steer this boat. <laughs> so, Mullins. Yeah, what you want? Where, 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 where'd she go? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Right, right, right can't right miss here. me. Can't miss me. <laughs> okay. So, we that was a pretty impressive list, but you worked with the goddess. Mm. She she is she is a goddess. Right. Yep. Man, I remember when when she went on that first tour. That was the one gig that I auditioned for. I sent in tape, and I didn't get. It's the only really? gig I hadn't got. Hmm. I just I I wasn't what she was looking for. I guess broke my heart. Mm. Oh. She's wildly talented, right. and just yeah. She's just as pretty in catering with no makeup on. She's just, <laughs> oh, she's just yeah. beautiful all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. Gosh, yeah. Yeah, that was a, it was a great run. Boy, that, she, was the, she was the queen. Yeah. I mean, you would see like, you know, hardcore metal dudes say, I kind of like that Shania Twain song. Yeah. You know, then they'd see her and like, wow, yeah. But yeah, yeah, no. Couldn't beat her. So, so you, you did the, which, which tour? Which tour? Uh, rock this country. Yeah. The was that that was right before the Vegas thing, or was that the Vegas thing on the road? It was in between that Vegas and this Vegas. Okay, that's right. I think she, 2015. She had the young dude playing drums. Yeah. He's not a young dude anymore. No. Yeah, that was pretty wild, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have an update on what exactly it is, but yeah. he is great. He is. 
Oh no, yeah. that, that uh, it's playing ca- capture my just a yeah. solid. I mean, just a clock. Yeah, because I, I know there, there's a lot of tracks going on that. So so you got to be. Yeah. You know, and he he was just a hammer. Yeah. Yeah, and a great we can't, human. <laughs> also, I don't. I don't. <laughs> He's just, Great. You, get, you guys yeah. took a left turn and left your audience like, what? Uh, Who are you talking about? Oh, what? yeah. yeah. Oh. You went inside. <laughs> you went oh, oh, sorry. You went inside on him. Yeah. Her, her, her drummer was a, well, he's just embracing the other side of his personality yes. now, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're, we're, we're on the blade here, Mommy. We're walking the edge. He's not just a dude. He's got something for everybody. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. But he's, still, he's a great he, well, no, human. No, also. they. they we we got to call them they. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They. The they are a great drummer. Oh. Yeah. And a great human, just like you yeah. said. What are you, <laughs> this is 2019, man. Come on. Of course, this show is still 1975. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the Barry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whew, I start sweating on that one. What the heck, man? <laughs> Man, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness! So yeah, that's but now pretty... he can live his authentic life. Yeah. Yeah. We ain't judgy. We ain't judgy here. Nope. I don't know. <laughs> Why am I giggling then? I don't know. <laughs> Must be the coffee. Yeah. All right, girl. Yeah, but I want to. I want to hear about the transition from from a country stage to yes. a, a huge. Like world platform, like the Jonas Brothers and Shania. Oh, okay. Chinaya. Well, speaking that's, of... I mean, that's a big step. World platform. So yeah. I was out. I got the gig with Shakira. Actually, uh... Did you have to audition for that? or? I did. did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, John Rich actually got me the gig. Uh, well, he recommended me. He called me one day. And this is before I played with Big and Rich, because I've also played with Big and Rich. But he called me, and I was actually out. Uh, I was out on the road with Randy Owen, and he said, "Hi, John Rich." <laughs> he said, "Can you fly to the Bahamas tomorrow to audition for Shakira?" <laughs> I said, "Well, what? tomorrow." I reckon I can. And, it was and I did. And you got it. Yeah. That's that's awesome. But I was in the we we were in the middle of uh, a few months european promo tour and we're over there and i think spain was next and i was the only one that didn't speak spanish but when she does shows in spain or south america she does the whole thing in spanish oh really yeah Yeah. which is cool unless you have to sing harmony right and you don't speak spanish (laughs) oh yeah so you can go si te quiere se verte. Well, the other the other girl <laughs> the, other girl. <laughs> the other girl singer was uh Cuban and she said, oh. Girly, she said, I'm gonna help you. And she helped me and I wrote everything out phonetically and she was like, Okay, girly, when you say this, don't breathe. And when you say this, hold your mouth like this. And when you say this, whatever. Oh, oh you get And it. I did it. How cool. Wow. Sing us a little part in Spanish. Uh just a line. Okay, so like she wolf the yeah. So, um, <laughs> now, don't you sing with her, you sing like her. Where did that voice come from? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, on the couch, just dropping it like that. Dropping the Espanol. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's awesome. She's a girly, the way you talk, I'm so worried. <laughs> girly, 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 yeah. girly, girly. Yeah. so cool though but I mean you actually take on Shakira's voice there that was wild because it doesn't sound anything like your voice just talented man that's so cool you gotta play the part you gotta play you gotta it. sing yeah, the right. part that's right that's right yeah wow yeah pretty wild that's how you blend that harmony and get those gigs 
That's right. Yeah. That's right. You got to blend. And she has a unique voice, Shakira does. Yeah. I mean, there's nobody that sings like her. No. Yeah, and dances. Except oh my you. God. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, she almost she has like a, a Tahitian kind of like in hula dancing. There is a t- you know where, where the hips go, where the hips like the, look like they're part of another body. Yeah. You know, like she's got that thing just dialed. Yeah. That was the first thing. I was, and my mom, who used to teach hula, she goes, "She'd be a good Tahitian dancer," you know. And I said, "Well, she's doing pretty good as a Latin dancer." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hip, hips don't lie, right? Was that don't, her yeah. thing? Yeah. Her, her song or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she's also wildly talented and just great. She knows her music, too, from what I hear. I mean, yes. like she could pretty much go to anybody and say, you know, I want you doing this. And, but again, that's what, I mean, she's an international star. Yeah. I mean, so she's known worldwide because I mean, there's a lot of, most of the world is Latin, Latin and Asian. Yeah. Yeah. That must have been quite the, uh, quite the time. It was quite the time. Yeah. Especially for a little redneck girl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, the world. that's pretty cool to be because, like, you know, we we get to travel to Europe and other countries with country acts and stuff, but you're never really in that country as long as you're hanging around those people. It's like Tennessee just picked up and went over there for a little while, but with somebody like her, you can actually be in 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 the crap, so to speak. I mean, right in the middle of it. Right? Yeah. I mean, how was catering? Was it just awesome? Yeah. I knew it would be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's an old man question right there. Yeah. That's an old man. Just, Whoa, it's catering good. Yeah. Wow, I made all that Latin food. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> He's drooling. I am. He's got to wipe, his, wipe yeah. your chin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we covered, that's about all, that's your, your side people, right? You don't need much more than what you got. I mean, that's it. Either any one of those acts is it. Oh, I also play with, that I met working on, with Randy, Wade Hayes. Oh, Wade Hayes, And I Wade's still right. play with him. Oh, Yeah, he man. still is, has my country. Oh, I love it. Wade's going to yeah. come do our live Cash Creek Club oh, great. show in December. Oh, cool. You should come too. When is it? First, we, we do it the first Wednesday of every month. We're going to have you on as a guest one of these days too. You get okay. you sing your three or four songs. Okay, great. Because we're, we're thinking about making February all female. Because the way you've, you, we we have like a, a a name act, and then we have three or four upcoming acts that I'm usually working with that we'll we'll bring on, and we're like the house band for it. We call it the Cash Creek Club Live. Oh, fun! And we do it the first Wednesday of every month, and we've had uh, T T Graham. Yeah. Just oh, he's great. And then Larry Stewart and Tim Rushlow were our first three, and then next month, well, next week. Yeah, next week. Wait, no, when this airs tomorrow. Tomorrow. Be Richie. Tomorrow is Richie McDonald. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. And then Wade Wade's coming in December, so we're excited about that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, he's great. We got a break. I just heard the click. Yep. But when we come back, we got we got to talk about your new deal, what you got going on. All right. And then yes. maybe after that, get you to render one for us, if you would. Okay. Woohoo! Make yeah. it most. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. What? Where, where will you be November sixth? November sixth. Let me check my ch- I know where I'll be. I'm going to be downtown. I'm going to be at the Music City Bar and Grill, which yes. is where you should be too. November 6th, Cash Creek Club Live. Number four. Number four. Richie McDonald. Richie McDonald. Angela Oliver. Angela Oliver. The Rollers. The Rollers. Jamie's DeRussia. Jamie DeRussia. James yep. Phillip. James Phillip. That's right. I never know what to call him. Hey, you. That's right. Steel Ivory. Steel Ivory. So be there. November 6th. November 6th. Music City Bar and Grill. Back We're back. Incredibly Woo! talented Shakira. I'm uh, not Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> I know what's on your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The video. Yeah. The Saturday. It was a Saturday Night Live appearance, right? Yes. You might want to YouTube it or Google it. That's mm-hmm. all I'm going to say. Yeah. You might. I might could edit into this thing. You might have just seen it. Oh, man. That's fancy. <laughs> I know. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It was strange to see you up there, too, without something in your hand. Right? Yeah. Did, it's strange to be up there without yeah, something in Yeah, I was going to say, hand. how did that feel? Because you're such a player. You've always been, you know, one of the guys. I mean, we jam. You know, you got a mandolin or a fiddle or something. Yeah. Was it weird just stand there and sing? It was. Very yeah. weird. Well, you I'm still not really okay with... Like, it still feels weird to me even now. I think there was one song uh, with the Jonas Brothers. 
that I didn't play on. And I was like, oh. <laughs> now, were you playing fiddle for the Jonas Brothers? Yeah. Yeah. Why can I not picture that? It just doesn't register in my brain they have a fiddle in their band. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they had before, but they, they kind of did. Jonas, a a fiddle in that's, right, that's right. So that's cool. They didn't have any on the records, but they had. Is because they had you. They said this girl's a badass fiddle player. We should have her play. Well, I think they were doing kind of like uh, at the time they were doing some. It's when they the first show I did with them was at Radio City Music Hall. Wow! And it was. Th- they were doing their hits, but kind of with acoustic reimaginings. Okay, gotcha. So, and then they had some gotcha. new stuff that had, uh, you know, so sense. between sure. like strings and whatever, but, it would, you know, they're, they're very musical mm-hmm. also. Mm-hmm. You know, I love Nick's solo stuff. Yeah. I, he is wildly talented and a great actor too. Yeah. Did you see him at Jumanji? He was great. Yeah. I don't get out much, but yeah. I'm sure. You no, know I don't either, too. It's on a bus. You know? Oh, yeah. That's where, <laughs> yeah. where you see the movies, right? Isn't, isn't yeah, that where everybody that's sees true, the movies? yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I've, I've always thought they're talented. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's, I don't, I, I don't know if people appreciate how talented they are. Like, sure. it, it wasn't like... Oh, you know, play fiddle. It was like, oh, can you do this line? Da, 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 da. Right, at this right, point yeah. in this, you know, like, right. and they'll know when it's there. They know the music, yeah, basically, mm-hmm. it's, and they know it's what not, they want to hear, yeah. and they know what part they want to, you know, well, hear song. Well, it's funny. they don't one, get enough credit, right? And the one thing that I, I have learned too, with having kids and you know having a daughter, and she's got you know her her boy bands and stuff, and like really at how. It's not like in the 50s where they just had the idols and they put them up there and they kind of sing, you know, but these kids are ridiculously talented. Yeah. Um, Ellie, my daughter, she, she, her, her favorite boy band is this band called Why Don't We? And it's, it's a, and first I'll, I'll say, well, they don't play instruments. It's not a band, honey. It's a singing group. Then they put out a video. They're all playing something. And then there was this one thing where they're sitting around a microphone and it's like, holy crap, oh, these guys yeah. are good. You know, and yeah. it's just, I think the bar has been raised so much and the, the availability that they can have to music at an early age, anytime they want is changing the game. I think that's yeah. why it's so many, because I mean, like kids now when they're 12, say they pick up a guitar at 10 years old, they are probably as good as like, say you hate to say it, but like a Dwayne Eddy or somebody from the 50s back in the day who were like, you know, the cornerstones of our music and the instrumentalists. But I mean, their abilities now are yeah. just out of this world. And like we're getting more talented as a species. Yeah, I agree. Also, I think the the availability of having options to like, oh, I want to, you know, like my dad has this story where he when he was he was trying to learn buckaroo. And he had it on like the reel to reel thing, and he right. said he started at, um, I think, six o'clock one night, and he quit at six in the morning. But every, <laughs> like, and then he had it, like he had it by the <laughs> morning. Yeah. yeah, but he had to like keep, you know, self taught. Right. It wasn't like you could pull up a YouTube video a YouTube and see video. somebody playing Some like how. So he had to you. like yeah. listen yeah. and you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You know, and my dad, my dad taught himself, saved up, and. You know, self-taught everything that he ever played to himself. Mm-hmm. But he's seventy years old and he's got four gigs this week. And uh, come on, he's working more than us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and he just loves it. Yeah, yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. yeah, and he's really great. And too, at this point in his life, like he's seventy, he's going, driving to the gig, setting up the sound system, doing the three to four hour gig, tears down. You know, awesome. goes to the truck stop afterwards and then goes home. But if somebody requests a song, he will learn it. He's taught himself. He started going to um, ballroom dances and he plays for some of them. The and he yeah. he taught himself from people that were there and learned enough dancing where he can tell what kind of dance goes to certain Sure. Beats and then so yeah. now he can play these ballroom dances and he 
He can tell them what dance to do and stuff. Yeah, yeah. and he knows like the order. Like, oh well, you can't have yeah. a you know, you like, can't have two rumbas in a row. Right. You got to have a fox <laughs> trot in between right. or a triple so, so time it's, swing it's like, or whatever. It's like the, old, the old line dance days, then yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah. And he's exactly given, what we did. So yeah, cool. but he's still learning. And your dad's very cool too. I give your mom props. Your dad's awesome. That I thought he was just a sweet, sweet man when I got to meet him. That, he that is, time. Yeah. and he's he. He ain't proud of his daughter, though, boy. I tell you. <laughs> I get not at all. Man, it's no. just, he, he wears her with such pride. It's so cool. <laughs> so cool. And I, I get it. I get it, man. That's it. So, Megan, tell us about what, what you got going on. Tell us about this side piece you got. Well, um, I am usually the only girl in the band, generally speaking. And if there is a girl in the band, it's usually just one. Hey, can I stop you real quick? Yeah. Because I told this story a couple weeks ago about when we met Steven Tyler, that time when we played with him. Oh, yeah. I didn't finish that story. I said almost the entire time he was on stage, he was right next to Megan up in the, you know. You know, he didn't even mention you at all. In that story. <laughs> I didn't. It was all about Tyler. We didn't know you were there. The funny, the funny part is, like, I grew up country and bluegrass kind of oriented. Like, I can, I can tell you George Jones and Tanya Tucker and all these, Conway Twitty. But I didn't grow up with a lot of popular music and so he was over like whatever but he remembered you from american idol right? yeah i that, think so that, yeah. that was the deal because you were in the band american idol for yeah okay. but he, he's like oh, and i didn't know the words and i was yeah. so like i knew i was playing mandolin but there's right. no mandolin part yeah, so, Tyler so, so, but he kept doing it and i just kept smiling and i'm like <laughs> yeah i forgot i didn't tell that part of the story Oh my gosh! I, yeah, I just didn't know the doing. words. I, I didn't know that was what he was doing. I, I, I just said, "Well, walk this way? I'd be doing the same thing." Yeah. You, 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 you know, <laughs> if I could pick any of the ugly boys on stage, I'd want to sing to her too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? That's I mean, well, that's Tyler. I was on the complete other side of the stage. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, I felt that's funny. pretty goofy. Yeah, that, that's, that's okay. Funny. Sorry, I just I just had to throw that that part. Oh no! Of, well, thanks for finishing the story. I'm glad to know right. that she, she well, was standing there next to well, Tyler. It was, he's when, trying to it was when she said she, she's always her. the only girl in the band that I remembered that moment. Oh that, yeah, you, you know, I mean, because he went right. He, he went. It was like a moth to a flame, yeah, right man. He saw red over there in the corner. He said, "I'm gonna sing to that girl over there." <laughs> she got a mandolin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Wow. Um, we Ooh. were oh, side I, piece. Side so piece. I have piece. female friends that are also side men. Fantastic, because that's what we call them. But we're usually the only girls in the band, so we decided to band together. Yeah, you like that? Got to brand it. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> instead of calling it side women, we called it side piece because it's less unwieldy than side women and also it's more fun and also yeah. we're, we're a bunch of pistols that's right yeah you are you're not pistol for it all yeah so um <laughs> so we're trying to make a more we're trying to make more places for women on stage so we play at the redneck riviera monday and tuesday six to ten for those of you who don't speak southern that's redneck riviera redneck. that's downtown broadway yes <laughs> that's mr rich's establishment yes. yes it is and also i will say um there is there are drink specials for veterans every night he's good with that yeah he's yeah good. yeah so come on down so say i'm a girl and a very ugly girl of course but um <laughs> and i want to you know i, I want to place right in town here. i want to place in town because i i'm pretty darn good and i want to place in town that i you know i don't have a band but i want to get out and play. but you want to get out and play do you have well, a place to go you do have a place to go you uh it's kind of like a open cattle call not that i'm calling anybody cattle a heifer. Call. Yeah, no heifers yeah <laughs> not calling call, y'all anybody heifers yeah. i mean <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm married a cow man <laughs> that's right that's right <laughs> It's a compliment. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, called, he said, "Damn, girl, you look like a nice hair." Oh yeah. Right? <laughs> On a side note, I went to I, I played with Wade recently at the Fainting Goat Festival oh, and no whatever, fun. and I went to one of the I was trying to find some goats and I found some in a tent and they were like. They were calling him out. They're like, "Oh, look at this feminine head on this one. This <laughs> one, this one's got a reel. You see how wide that rear end is? That's just that's just what you want. And see how her front legs just go right up underneath her like they're supposed to. 
That's a that's a good looking that's a good looking doe. <laughs> <laughs> it was something. Words you didn't think you would hear out loud at a feeding goat. Yeah, festival. and then and then he went on to the next goat, and there was more. I mean, it was more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what you want. That's, that's what, what you, you want. want. Goat. Yeah. I heard you want them wide stop. heads. Like, sounds like a beach of spring break or something. I know, yeah. yeah. You want them wide hey, heads. So I, I, I fit right in. in. <laughs> oh, man. See, we had too much yak yak. We ran out of time to save it. We'll Sorry. come back. We'll finish it off. Side piece when we come back. You go see? You go see? She's here. She's still here, and she's gonna render us a tune. I'm so excited. Oh, hope I don't screw it up, girl. I got a chart. Well, here. I hope I don't screw it up either. I got a chart here. Now, is there a story behind this song? There is. Um, one of my very sweet dear friends, Sarah Majors. Uh, I met her huh? at a yeah. writing appointment where you know, like when you're on a label and they give you, they set up these writing appointments and. Uh, I walked in and uh, met her, and she just has this personality, and she's so great. And to this day, she's one of my dearest friends. And um, she said, well, tell me about yourself. I said, well, I grew up playing in a family band. She goes, me too. (laughs) And uh, her, she said, yeah. She said, I used to, when I was 13, my dad would get a six-pack of Coors, and he'd just have me drive on the highways in Kansas coming to and from Bluegrass Festival so he could Drink beer, and I thought, we are going to be friends. That's right. That's <laughs> For quite right, a long yeah. time. Kindred spirits. So we ended up writing this song about um, kind of the stuff that goes along with a working family band. That's right. There's a lot of stuff that happens. There is. Yeah. It ain't, come on, get happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but boy, they should have made good memories, though, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. it really does. <laughs> <clears throat> Gas of the minivan, mama's got the map, got a show, hit the road, base fiddle on the luggage track. Brother screwing at the wheel, I'm trying to take a nap. Just wake me when you get there. Daddy's always bitching, cause we're always running late. You'll be painting a Dixie cup if you can't wait. Driving Play a hay bale stage in the middle of God knows where You can see the dysfunction But only from the first two rows To daddy and his youngins Show sure put on a hell of a show Them all pants, racetracks, state fairs Bluegrass on them morning gospel jams We're an all-American family band Well, my brother to let it pass Mama smoking with the window Of making us gag Me, I'm just sitting there Trying not to laugh And learn an old Loretta song Two hundred shows a year Across the Midwest Give a CD to Grandma And try and tell the rest Waiting on a break now Holding my breath But it keeps us keeping on You can see the dysfunction But only from the first two rows The daddy and his youngins Show a put on Show. They ain't all fans, racetracks, safe fans, bluegrass on their morning gospel jams. We're an all American family band. Here I am singing all by myself. Family's back home. Shimmy 
the show. Putting on pants, ready tracks, stay fast, bluegrass, on the morning gospel jams. Picking right there. Yeah. Megan Mullins. Yeah, yeah girl. <laughs> <laughs> He's Monty. Hey, that's Kimo. We have a podcast. We do. It's a web of podcast to say. Yes. <laughs> Go to our YouTube, please, and subscribe. And then you ring the bell. What does that do when you ring the bell? It means you get notifications. That way you'll never miss a second of this outstanding quality entertainment that yes. we bring you that we work so hard to do every week we've had great guests yeah okay we've been awesome we've been awesome we've saved the shows but we've but even had Blaylock we've had Blaylock yes. yes some great performances live performances no tuning no nothing oh this, my god this is people sitting on microphones singing yeah. and kicking butt there's no smoke and mirrors I mean it's it's raw and it's great mm -hmm. That is the Cash Creek Club web series podcast, or as we call the Web of Podcasts. That's right. That's right. On YouTube. Get there. Sign up. Subscribe. Join us. It's just a good time. Woo! That was slamming. Oh! Did that just happen? Come on! That was a bad old I think song. it did. It did it? Yeah. Did it? I think so. Oh, man. I think it's proof. There's proof on that thing. Proof in the pudding? Yeah. That's, yep. some, that's some good stuff right there. You was, just wrote that song you. this morning, right? I mean, yeah, on my way in. Got, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Maggie, good stuff. Thank good you. Stuff. That's fun. That's Thanks, good. I appreciate uh, that. I, I feel good. I think I think we had some moments there where it kind of went, "Hey, this is badass." I was just going, "What the hell is that guy doing over there?" <laughs> she, I'm having a she, great time with you guys. Me. Yeah, she 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 she, <laughs> she, 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 this song is so much better. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's ruining my song, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Oh my, my house, God. my rules. Um, <laughs> let's get back to side piece. Whore the hell out of him, girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, um, yeah. That we... coffee, boy, that's some what? good stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> Best part of waking yeah. up. <laughs> He's lightweight. Uh, I'm a lightweight because I have no sleep. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. What were we talking about? Side oh, piece. side piece. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mondays and Tuesdays. Mondays and Tuesdays at Redneck Riviera. Redneck Riviera. On Broadway. On from Broadway. 6 to so 10. So when you come to town, you, on, you plan on going down there at what time? Yeah, uh, 6 to 10. 6 to 10. And uh, you can follow us on the internet. The I believe interweb. on Instagram, it's Side Piece Band. Okay. So now, check that out. These girls that, that are in the band, bass player was with Sugarland, right? She was with Sugarland. Drop all that stuff. People love the oh, name yeah. dropping. Oh yeah. And this is a name dropping show. I mean, we Big just time. drop them yes. like that. Yes. Okay. Drummer Let's girl. drop them. Well, she's also out, oh. been out for the last three years with Marin Morris. She's a bass player still. Bass player still. Oh, oh she's with Marin now. Yeah, oh, so no. that's why the the touring industry a lot of times out of Nashville is you kind of do weekend warrior stuff. So you get on like a bus Wednesday or Thursday night, and then you're gone, and then you come back home on Sunday. So I'm we glad play. you pointed that out because a lot of people think when you're on tour, you're just gone. You're that's gone. more of like pop things, like yeah. like with Sh and I. I was gone for six and a half months, and that's the way they. Do. And that's, that's just the way you're they gone, do gone. Yeah. But with a lot of Nashville country acts. You go away on the weekend and you come back and then you're at home during the week. And so. the season's a lot longer in country too. Like like, oh pop yeah, so they'll, they'll squeeze it down to two months or three months. That's where they got to be gone that whole time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but with with the country tour, it's an we go it's all year long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you work just enough to be irritated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just yeah. just enough to leave your suitcase packed. Just leave it packed. Which is why. Mondays Which is why and Mondays and Tuesdays, and Tuesdays yeah. when mm. most of us are back in town. Um, we play, and then our drummer, uh, the our bass player is Annie Clements. Uh, 
Sugarland, Marin Morris, Amos Lee. And then the drummer is Megan Jane, and she is so great. And she she's always she's probably the hardest working drummer. She plays with seven or eight or maybe more different wow. acts. She also kind of I think she MDs a lot of the time and tour manages for them also. So she plays she's with uh, Lauren Jenkins, Hannah Dasher. Uh, I think she was out with Brooke Eden. They just opened for yeah. Garth Brooks a couple mm-hmm. months ago. So she's, but she's working all the time, and she's was so she talented. Was she Tyler too when he did his country thing? Was that her? I don't think so. Okay, I get, I I, I get so. her because I get her confused with that other girl. There's, yeah. like, there's two girls that work a lot. Uh, Megan Jane has very curly, large hair. The fro. The fro. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like that. Yeah, yeah, because the other girl is long, and straight. Yeah, mm-hmm. straight and stringy. Yeah. So we, but the nature of it is because we're trying to make more places for women on stages because you aren't hearing them on the radio. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, if one of us can't make it, we always fill the slot with women. So it's hang around. You'll get in there. And then okay. also if yeah. anybody wants to come sit in with us. Very cool. What about You're dudes identifying as women? Did they get the call? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. We are all accepting all no judgment. <laughs> okay. All are welcome. All are welcome here. Yeah. yeah. At the side piece gig. At the side piece gig. <laughs> yeah. Can I get a hallelujah? Well, can I get an amen? Feels like the Holy Ghost running through you. Now, you're going to be in the studio here pretty soon, too, aren't you? The, yes. I'll tell you what. I'll yes. You, we need we need some more Megan Mullins music out there. Well, uh, I've done right. There isn't any that I know of, unless there's goofy YouTube videos or something. But And that's a shame. And that's going to get... It is a shame. Yeah. And we have just right. been discussing it, and mm-hmm. I've never really put any music out there, but I'm about to. Mm-hmm. So y'all get ready. Y'all get ready for it. You heard it here first. That's right. That's right. Yes. It's it, and, and it's. I'm excited. I'm excited about it. It's going to be great. I yeah, think. when people see this, and wow, that's a killer song they just did. I want that. They're going to be able to get it. That's yeah, right. you can probably attach a link to where sure. to buy it when yeah. it comes out. Absolutely. When it comes out. With yeah. technology and stuff. With technology. Yeah. Technology. Uh, yeah. Megan, you're awesome. Thank you. We love you. What you, a great time. You, you guys are a, great. Thank you for you're having an me. Awesome guest. And we want you to come back to the Cash Creek Club. And you are now a member. Okay. <laughs> like it or not. <laughs> Try to come out December with Wade, too. That'd be okay. fun. Yeah. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. I'm sure he wouldn't mind at all. <laughs> I, so. I ain't going to pay you nothing, but come on out. Barney yeah. might get a yeah. little ruffled. We might have some apple pie. Okay. Oh, well, maybe some of that peach. Megan Mullins. Now, here's Woo-hoo! some redneck right here. <laughs> You're awesome, girl. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. What are we talking about? CashCreekBand.com. Yeah, man. Spiffy new website. It's slick. Thanks to our buddy Sean. Yeah. You can get everything Cash Creek there. Let that be your starting point when you go exploring around the world of Cash Creek. Absolutely. You can even get to YouTube channel from that website right there, and you can catch up on all of our fabulous Cash Creek Club. That's right. Podcast webisode. Thingmadingies. That's Cash Creek Band. Band. Dot com. Dot com. That's right. See you there. Good stuff. Huh? Yeah. You all right? All oh, coffee's wearing me the down. The coffee yeah. getting you, yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. There's Megan Mullins for you. Yeah, that's fun, huh? Yeah, it's a good go. Wow. I've always thought she was awesome. I've always liked her. She's been, and I tell you what, a great hang on the bus. She's one of the boys, just as. Oh, no kidding. You know, real small footprint. You know, she, well, she is so tiny, you know, anyway. So. In fact, I think she can fit everything in her bunk, <laughs> including her. 
You know, she'll sleep with her fiddle and everything will be in there. She gets, it's like, you know, her wardrobe. She's like, that, that, that way she got to get out. She just grab it and go, you know? Well, that's a girl that's grown up in it, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know? that, that's a life, life story. When you got to travel light. At three years old? <laughs> 100 shows? Eight yeah. year? Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's that's growing up in it. Yeah, that's growing up in it. So. Yeah. That's how, you know, see, that's why she's just so natural and just turn it on. Yeah. I, I can't think of anything else. I think we're good. Keep up on all the socials, and uh, we'll see you at the club. Music oh. City Bar and Grill. Also, I, I want to uh, address this, because there have been some questions from folks. As uh, Since I've gone off of the personal side of Facebook oh, and stuff okay. like that on the social media side, and we said people that want to get a hold, you can go ahead and, you know, even... Monty or James or anybody, you can access us through the Cash Creek Band stuff on if, Facebook. On Facebook, that's right. If if you and the have, website, yeah. But I mean, if if you and if if you're just you know you want to share something with us, whatever you know, or just a, a funny little deal or whatever, you can actually post that on the page, right? Isn't that how direct that to that the Facebook works? page? Yeah, like on, on the page, and mm-hmm. you know, and then but it, but it, if you have. Um, you know, something that you want, you want to, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what you might do, but we're still available there at the page. So just direct all your correspondence there. To the Facebook page. Because I think you'll be getting rid of yours pretty soon here, won't you? Yeah, uh, probably. Not Maybe too far so. away. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Not too or, far away. I think Jim's got four or five of them. Jim's got enough for all of us, yeah, so yeah. there's no need for us to be Yeah, on. so you can you can actually... <laughs> direct to Drake, fact, directly to James Blaylock. Go right to James yeah. Blaylock's and yeah. say, hey, Tag him. send this to Monty, send this to Chemo, yeah. as much as you can. I think that's a fantastic idea. In fact, idea. I think maybe three, four times a day. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to start doing that. On each of his pages. I'm going to send you, like awesome. in conversations. Can I'm, we have a conversation together on his page? Let's do it through Jim's. We can. Yes. We do, yes, we're That'll doing it. That would be fun. We're doing it. I'm yep. in all the be way. awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Woohoo! All, all right. right, guys. Yeah. On that note, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. We'll see you next time. Thanks for being here. <laughs>